Today we're going to create an application to manage a list of people and their details. Let's see how the application will behave. I can add a new person, their first name, last name and age. Now I can see Michael in my list of people here. I can also delete people from the list by clicking the trash icon. Now, Michael is gone from the list. OK, let's get started with creating this application. I'll need to store this information somewhere, and in this case I've opted to use a Mint Data base. This will let me store information in the cloud and share it among the users of my application. I'll need a base, a table in the base, and several functions to define the application's behavior. Let's first create the base by using the base add function. Let's call it the people base. I'll click the play button, or press command enter, to run the action cell. Great! Looks like we have a new base in the cloud now. To display and manage our list of people in the application, let's create a table in the base to hold this information. Let's call it person. A table has columns, so let's add the ones handy for our application, their first name, last name and age. The first and second columns will be strings, since they contain text, and the third column will be a number, since it holds the age. I'll use the table spec function to create a table in my base in the cloud. And, check this out, the spreadsheet gives me prompts for functions, function arguments and inline help. Very useful. Let's see if it works by clicking the play button. Alright, I'll now head over to the surface to recreate the look of the application we saw earlier. I'll add a text component to this page. Let's call it members. I'll add one more text component. To duplicate it, I'll press Alt and drag the component. I'll type first name, last name and age in the properties panel of each component. For my records to be displayed, I'll add three more text components. To delete records, I'll need a trash icon. For that, I'll add an icon component and change its look in the properties panel. Like that. I'll drag one more icon component to my page. I select this icon and go to the properties panel and change the icon to refresh. The same idea as with the trash icon. Last but not least is a button. I'll add a button component and give it a name new. I'll change the size, color and style of each component to refine the appearance. Let's speed this part up a bit and give our digital experience a bit more flavor. By using Mint Data, I'm always in control of the final experience and polish of my application. In today's competitive landscape, that's important. It helps me differentiate and delight my users. OK, that looks a bit better, let's keep going. We've created the skeleton of our list, but it's not connected to data yet. Let's make our list display all people from the base. To do this, I'll write Get Records in a cell and click Play. The Get Records function will fetch all rows from my person table in the base. Looks like we have three people here. OK, now let's make our list data driven, that is, display the right number of rows, based on the data I have. I'll open the repeater panel, and bind based on data, to the cell here and press auto, on the down direction. I'm doing this because the number of rows in the spreadsheet may vary and I want the same number of rows to display in my application. Next, I'll bind the text for the first name, last name and age to my data. And, that's it, I've now created a data-driven display of all people in my base. OK, remember how our application had a dialog with a form to add new people? Let's create that part. First, we'll create the dialog and form. I'll add a new page and give it the name Add Person Dialog. After that, I'll add three text input components. To make it easy and quick, I can copy the button from the members page and paste it on this one. Let's name it Add. I'll bind values to Michael, Scott, 42, and change placeholders in the Properties panel to first name, last name and age. Let's also refine the style of our dialog. I'll speed up this part to show the final result. After it's done, I'll go to the Members page, click on the Add Person dialog and select Overlay on Members. The Add Person dialog is shown on top of my main Members page. To give it a better look, I'll go to the Properties panel of the Add Person dialog and set the background color to black with an opacity of 0.4. And now it looks like this. 
Now that I've got my dialog and input fields linked to the spreadsheet, I'll work on the logic for the add button. When I click this button, I'd like to save the new person to our base and then close the dialog. To do this, I'll bind the onclick event of the button to this cell, and write a do function that references the three cells below it. In the first cell, I'll write add record to save our new person to the base. In the second cell, I'll write do to rerun the action cell that displays our current list of people on the main screen. In the third cell I'll write hide overlay to hide this dialog and return to the main page with our members list. I'll bind the new button to the cell and then use the show overlay formula to make it work. Ok, let's see how everything is shaping up. I'll click new and the dialog appears. I'll fill out the fields and click add. Erin has been added to our base in the cloud and I can see her in our list. That's great, my application is starting to look good and work well, much like our unofficial motto at Mint Data. But what happens if we need to delete a person from our list and base? For that, I'll link the onclick event of our trash icon to this cell. I'm holding shift as I do this, so that the click from all rows in my list will get delivered to this cell. In the cell, I'll use the do function and reference the next five cells below it. For our logic, we'll want to know which row was clicked, and for that row we'll want to look up the ID of the person in our base. Based on this ID, we'll ask the base to delete that record and then we'll refresh our list to see the results. First, we'll write E to get information about our click event. Let's click on the trash icon and see what happens. Ok, if I scroll to the right, I can see repeated index, that's the index of the row we clicked. Let's grab that into a separate cell. Now, let's look up the ID of this person. Ok, now that we've got the ID, let's delete this record from the base. And the last thing we'll do is refresh our list of people to display. Ok, let's bring it all together. When we click the trash icon, we expect the row to be removed from our list and from our base. Perfect, that worked just like we wanted. The person is now removed from our list on the page and from the base in the cloud. Great, we've just seen how to create an application that interacts with a real database in the cloud, manages a list of people, displays a form for adding a person, and does this all with a user experience that we crafted on the fly. Simple, yet refined, that's the power of Mint Data.